Welcome to part three of Charlie's Edition. I'm sorry it took me so long to get back, but I was having a very interesting conversation with one of my friends. Anyway, the next part of Charlie's Edition, and if you have not seen parts one and two, which was talking about rejection and, of course, types, you need to go back and check those videos out right here on my YouTube or under my Facebook profile. Check those out. Comment. Um, leave me your... Uh, questions or comments if you have a topic that you want to hear about out of the joy of sex book let me know and i'm sure there might be a topic involving whatever you're interested in really and i keep getting interrupted by my phone so the next part i wanted to talk about was safe sex of course God. what i want to talk about is of course we all know about safe sex practices at least i hope we all do you meet somebody in a club, you meet somebody anywhere, online, whatever, you don't want to just hook up with them and not protect yourself because you don't know what that person might have or they might not even know that they have something themselves and they're sitting there and transmitting it to other people. When you have sex with one person, that's like having sex with 70 other people at the same time. You don't want to do that. You don't want to end up with something and regret something. So, yeah. Now, I just want to read these, um things right here um this is what they considered completely safe sex mutual masturbation hugging body rubbing massage dry kissing s and m if without bleeding or bruising and sex toys used on self so mainly that means sex without the oral and the actual intercourse that's completely safe sex or not having sex at all abstinence considered possibly safe anal intercourse with a condom wet kissing sucking but stopping before climax external water sports no swallowing and fisting with latex gloves and considered totally unsafe swallowing semen, anal intercourse without a condom, water sports in mouth or on skin with sores, sh or sharing IV needles, sharing enema equipment or sex toys, and rimming. Now if you guys have any questions about things that I have just listed such as um, fisting and S&M and all that stuff, all that stuff is in this book. Just if you have any, you know, not any nasty related questions, just educational questions about that. So, just whenever you have sex, even if it's with a partner you have, be sure to always use safe or be safe. Use condoms. Protect yourself because you never know what could be going around. Don't listen to someone who says, oh, I'm clean. I've been clean. I don't have sex. Like that. Blah, blah, blah. Never know when someone's lying. Do you guys like my new hairdo? I'm like, really? I'm flawless. <laughs> so, like I said, um, basically every Tuesday right here on Charlie's Edition um, is going to be the Joy of Sex series. Okay? And I'm going to just discuss and read about three topics each week right here on Charlie's Edition. Um, like I said, I haven't read in a long time, so when I mess up, don't make fun of me because I be trying, I, I be trying to read it fast and make sure it makes sense, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm not sure which topics are going to be next week, but they will, of course, be interesting topics. So, if you, once again, if you have not seen the other parts, go back, take a look, comment, give me a question or two. Um, if you want me to talk about a certain topic anything about gay sex or whatever hit um leave me a message and maybe i could find it in this little book so thank you for watching charlie's edition the joy of gay sex remember the charlie show is every sunday might be doing a cooking show or a drag show whatever the case may be charlie's edition titanic series will be held on mondays and right here the joy of sex will be held on tuesdays thank you for watching have a bad